Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Ned and in the final part of this video series we're going to complete the development of our application by deploying it to a website. Let's have a look. For this demo I'm going to be using a sample template that I created using HTML. I do want to point out a few things before we begin. If you don't have an HTML background, if you don't understand front-end development, Caspio is compatible with many website builders that are available nowadays. So if you're using, let's say for example, WordPress, Weebly, Yola, Squarespace, all of these have a drag and drop UI where you don't actually have to worry about HTML. All you have to do is simply arrange your content the way you want and at the end you're going to be embedding your Caspio data pages into your own website. Now personally because I understand front-end development I'm going to be using HTML pages and I'm going to be working with the HTML directly however as I just said if you don't understand HTML you don't have to worry about this because many of the website builders nowadays are compatible with Caspio and you can very quickly and easily create your website to the point where you really don't have to worry about any of this HTML code. So let's go to Caspio and let's learn how to deploy all of these data pages. So if you recall from the previous video, we learned how to build all of these interfaces and let's begin with the reps. So the first data page that I would like to deploy is the data page called My Sales. I'm going to hit deploy, grab the embed code, let's close that screen, let's go to our HTML files, and here's the web page called MySales.html. Find a placeholder, paste your Caspio code, save and publish your website, and then go to your website. And as soon as you refresh, you will now be able to see that data page seamlessly embedded into your own website. From here, all you need to do is log in as your sample user. In this case, we're going to use Max. And as soon as I log in, I will be able to see that report that we created in Caspio. And you can see how it nicely fits inside the template screen. The next data page that I would like to deploy is the ability to add a new sale. So let's go back to Caspio, grab the deploy code for add new sale, enable status and copy the code, go back to my HTML, here's my page for new sale, I'm going to paste my Caspio code, save and publish, refresh, and you can see how the form also seamlessly embedded into this web page. So now we have this functionality where I can tab back and forth between this data page and my sales at any point. And the last data page that I want to deploy for the reps is company sales. So let's go back to Caspio once again, click on deploy, enable access, grab the embed code, back to my template, company sales and paste the code, save and publish, same process refresh and I should be able to see that data page as well. And there we have it. Within just a minute you have the entire functionality deployed to your own website and now your reps when they log in and out have the ability to add a new sale, view company sales, and also be able to view just their own sales. Now let's deploy the data pages for the administrators. So here's my template. This is the portal for the admins. So let's go back to Caspio and let's start with the ability to add a new rep. So here's my data page. Click deploy, enable access, copy the code, back to my HTML file and find that web page that's going to be used to deploy the new rep data page. Paste, publish, back to my website, refresh, and let's log in as John, who happens to be the admin for this application. And as soon as I log in, I'll now have this nice ability to be able to create an account for each of my reps. Let's continue with the deployment. This time I'm going to deploy my manage reps. Click deploy, enable access, copy, find out web page for managing reps. Here it is and deploy, manage reps, and now I have the ability to search and find all of my reps and be able to edit their information as the administrator. So I'm going to quickly now deploy the rest of these data pages. Let's go to manage sales now. View manage sales, here it is. Grab my code, 
I know it's a very repetitive process, but I want you to see how we are able to deploy each one of these data pages and how quickly you can have all of the functionality up and running within just a couple of minutes. So manage sales, here it is. Paste. Refresh. And here's that data page as well that allows me to search my sales and be able to view all the sales broken down by product. And finally, we have our dashboard view. So let's see what this is going to look like once we're done with the deployment. So the first one I would like to deploy is my chart for total sales by month. So we'll hit deploy, copy the code. So here's my dashboard. And here I'm going to be deploying three different data pages. So let's start with this one first. Hit save. Let me go back to Caspio now. Grab my second chart, top performers. Enable access, copy, back to my template, and paste. And finally, which is our pivot table, if you recall from the prior video, so let's go back to Caspio and grab the pivot table data page, copy the code, back to the template, paste. You can see how I embedded three different data pages onto a single web page called Dashboard. So now when I go back to my website, and I refresh that page, you're going to be able to see three different data pages deployed onto a single web page. From here you can actually customize the data page so it actually fits inside the template. You can see how my data page is actually exceeding the specific width that I have set on this template. This is actually a very easy fix. Uh, it's really just uh, either figuring out if you want to display all the data or you can change the width of the template so that you can fit the entire data page inside that template. But as you can see from this example, we have three data pages deployed onto a single web page. From here, the admin also now has the ability to tab back and forth between the navigation menu tabs to access all the different type of functionality. And the reps will have their own portal where they can see their own data. So this video included information on how to deploy your Caspio application to a website. From here, I hope that you'll be able to build your own Caspio applications. This is just one example of an application you can build with Caspio. We have many customers who are building different types of applications, CRM, inventory, project manager. You can build a membership directory if you want. But again, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with the Caspio platform. Hopefully, you'll be able to spend the time in learning how to use the tool. It is very powerful, and you will be rewarded if you learn how to use the platform because at the end, you're going to have this knowledge of building applications, and you're going to be able to apply that knowledge internally to be able to either improve some of your own workflows or for your team or department or the entire company itself. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed showing you how to build this application. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to use the comment section below. Let me know directly if you have any questions. Also, as I mentioned before, this Excel file is going to be available for download. I'm also going to make this HTML template available for download if you want to use my template as you're building this application. But of course, feel free to use your own if you have a specific preference in terms of how you go about building your own website. Thanks again. I hope to see you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye-bye.